Hey guys, welcome to Advanced Kids, where we're all about teaching children the heart of God, the Word of God, and the character of God. I hope that you've had an absolutely amazing week practicing what it's like to be an unlikely hero and helping people find their freedom purpose. Remember, our series for the year is called God's Freedom Timeline and has been all about God's freedom purpose for our life. The series we're in right now is called... That's right, Elected by God, where we're talking all about the people that God chose to take care of His chosen people, the Israelites. So far in this series, we've learned about Joshua, Ehud, Deborah, and Gideon. And this week, we're going to learn about an amazing hero named Samson. Why don't you stay tuned? We're going to learn some awesome stuff about another unlikely hero that God used for His freedom purpose. Would you agree in saying that God chooses the most unlikely of people to come in and be the hero of the story? Those that we've learned about so far had crazy disadvantages that some people would think would call them out of God's calling for their lives. But we know that God can do anything through somebody who's willing to say yes. So last week we learned about Gideon and just like everyone else, Gideon died and the Israelites went back to their old ways. Man, you'd think the Israelites would have learned by now, right? But no, after Gideon died, they went back to worshiping idols, they went back to disobeying God, and they were captured yet again by another set of enemies that wanted to take their land. They were in the promised land, they had everything that they needed, and they still disobeyed God. So what happened? Well, they were taken slavery, they were made to do all the jobs like last time, and then they got sick of it and cried out to the Lord for help. So the Lord chose a man and his name was Samson. You see, Samson was a pretty special man. He was really strong, but only because God made him that way. God told him a secret. He said, as long as you keep your hair growing long, then your power will stay with you. The power that I have given you is what God said to him. So Samson remained super strong and super powerful until the day where he met a beautiful woman. He met this woman that he just loved with all his heart and knew that that had to be his wife. His parents were a little bit annoyed. They were like, can't you just marry someone that's a part of our land? Because the girl that he met was a part of their enemy's land. But Samson was sure. He said, no, I need to marry this girl. She's beautiful. Go and get her for me. So they did. They brought Samson the beautiful Delilah. She came and they got married. But it turns out that Delilah was a spy. She was trying to figure out what made Samson so strong so that his enemies could defeat him. And she did. Samson finally told her that if his hair was cut off, that he wouldn't have the power and strength of God. God anymore. So she did in his sleep. She cut his hair and he was no longer powerful. He lost all of his strength and his muscles. Luckily, God had pity on him and he helped to grow it back and give him his strength back. But it took some learning for Samson to realize that he was supposed to rely on God and nobody else. Why don't we jump in and watch another video about Samson so that we can understand a little bit more about Samson and Delilah's story and you can see how Samson helped to free the Israelites from the slavery and bondage that they were held to. This is Samson. Samson was a super strong Israelite judge, but not the kind of judge who sits in a courtroom and decides who's guilty and who's not. Being a judge meant Samson's job was to be a leader for the Israelites. Judges helped people with their problems and made big decisions. On top of being a judge, Samson was also the greatest warrior in all of Israel. He fought a lion with his bare hands, tore down city gates, and fought a thousand soldiers using just the jawbone of a donkey. Also, he had really long hair, but not just because he liked it. It was because God had said that if Samson ever cut his hair, his strength would go away. He wouldn't be super strong anymore. One day, Samson met a woman named Delilah, and he trusted her with the secret to his super strength. But turns out, 
he had trusted the wrong person because Delilah told Samson's secret to his enemies, the Philistines. Once they knew that, they cut off his hair and threw him in prison, and he stayed there for a while. In prison, Samson had time to talk to God and repent, and his hair had time to grow back. Later, the Philistines brought Samson out to make fun of him in front of a huge crowd at their temple. And then Samson reached out his arms and pushed over the temple with his bare hands, killing his enemies. Samson wasn't perfect. In fact, he made a lot of wrong choices, but God still used Samson to protect his people. And that's just a little bit about Samson. The scripture that I want us to jump into today is the start of this story where the Israelites turned against God. It's found in Judges 13 and says this, Again, the Israelites did wrong in the sight of the Lord. And so he handed them over to the Philistines who held them captive for 40 years. Isn't that crazy? The Israelites wandered around the desert for 40 years. Then they were saved by Joshua, the great leader. They were brought into the promised land. He died, they sinned against God again. Then God gave them Ehud, he sinned against God again once he died. And it just went over and over and over again through Deborah, through Gideon, through Samson, all of these people that God sent to help them and they kept walking away. Maybe there's a lesson in this that we should just have trust and faith in God and we won't have to have a million leaders and wander around like the Israelites did. Well, I hope that you've learned something amazing today. I hope that you've learned something that can help you be a stronger hero and a more unassuming leader. We'll see you next week for another episode of Advanced Kids in Elected by God and God's Freedom Timeline. I hope that you have an absolutely amazing week. See you later.